Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Talks with Tony. Got a question from a young lady and it says, hello, a quick question for you from a former hot mess. I had daddy issues and suffered from low self-esteem slash self-worth. As a result, I made pitiful relationship decisions. I had little to no standards and dated men who were no good for me. I have five children by three different men. I call myself a former hot mess because I have done the work to make myself a better and healthier person in all aspects of my life. I earned two degrees and made over six figures last year. I recently bought a large house. I'm an attractive woman and take care of myself physically. Most people cannot believe I've given birth to five children. Most importantly, I'm in therapy to address my issues. I took a 12 month break from dating to focus on myself, which has been an amazing experience. I learned a lot about myself and grew closer to God. I've read books, watch videos and listen to podcasts about dating. Most of your podcasts are about people who need help or are in messy situations. My question to you is what happens after a person has done the work to make themselves better? Can I realistically expect a quality man to overlook the things I've done in my past and want to be with a woman with a large family? I have a lot to offer the right person in terms of my relationship with Christ, character, personality, looks, education, and financial stability. I'm also a great mother to my children. Thanks in advance for your response. Well, thank you very much for sending that in. And, and I wanted to, you know, answer this. I saw it and I took a quick skim. And in the second line, it said, you know, I have five children by three different men. And I know that's a very tough situation to be in, in, in a superficial dating world when a lot of men you meet are just, you know, surface level and they just look at you on the surface. The other thing is you have to look at it much bigger than just relationships. And so what, what you have here is the opportunity to tap into purpose and to live your best life in a different kind of way. So you have the opportunity to continue churning out greatness because you've tapped into greatness to earn six figures, to earn two degrees and make six figures. That is not easy. That is not easy for anyone to do. So for you to have done that, there are women with no children who don't have who don't have one degree. There are women with no children who don't have two degrees with no children who don't have a degree in making six figures. So what it looks like to me and you just bought a large house, you take care of yourself. What it looks like to me is you had to go through to get to that your pain and your mistakes is what you needed to make you who you are. Now, I won't lie to you. It will not be easy. It will not be easy for a man, a honest, good hearted, real man to want to be with you with five children. It won't be easy. And here's why, because a lot of times women get offended by this. And I'm just telling you the truth from a male perspective. I'm not saying impossible. What I'm saying is it's not easy. And the reason why it's not easy is because I've learned this over time. When I was a young man, but I was in high school, so it's different. I was very immature. You know, I dated a girl who had one child and I would call her and say, hey, you know, let's go to the movies. And she'd be like, I can't go to the movies. I got my son. And I would call her and say, hey, let's, you know, go skating, go bowling. I can't. I got my son. Or I could go, but I have to take my son with me. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to be around that man, that little boy. You know, that's what I'm saying to myself. And this was one child. And I remember going to her. I went to her house and I said, look, you know, I unfortunately I won't be able to, to be with you because 
I just I want to be able to live my life. What was the straw that broke the camel's back is I was driving through the parking lot of this plaza and I rode past this group of people fighting. And in the fight was her child's father. He's in the parking lot in the middle of the day, like 2 p.m., fighting. And it was him and, you know, a, a little group of nerdy looking kids. And we all in high school at this time. And he in the parking lot fighting. So I'm like, did he just come out of the bar right there, the sports bar right there? Or did he just come out of the movie theater, the matinee? But he's out here living his life and got time to be in the parking lot fighting and acting a fool when I'm going over here to play step daddy. And so that right there, it, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. And but at the same time, I was like eight, 17, 18. So I was immature. As many men in their 20s and 30s and get older, get with a woman and love a single mother. Many men can do it once they mature. But that's one child, two child, two children. You have five. So this man will have to be a different type of person. He will have to have a different vision. It, it, may, it would be a man who loves children and being able to play with them and speak into their life and put a smile on their face because either his father did that for him or he didn't have a father or maybe he's into sports and he loves the idea of having kids that he can train and build up to be the next Serena Williams or the next Michael Jordan, you know, or maybe his ex could not have kids. And now that he's getting older, he doesn't necessarily want to start over with his own kids or maybe he wants one of his own, but he wants to be in the lives of some youth. Now, here is the downside. For that man to truly be like that, he is going to be an all-around good person. He is going to be responsible. I'm not talking about a weed smoker and getting drunk. If he gets drunk and he smokes, he's not the one. This guy is going to be, he's going to be a clean guy. He's not going to have a vice, you know, nothing that he's addicted to. Not marijuana, not cigarettes, not alcohol, not gambling, not pornography. He's going to have no vices, no addictions, okay? He is going to be hardworking. This man has to have a job. Working full-time, 40 hours a week or more. If he's working less, he's still making full-time money. He just makes more in less amount of hours. But he is ambitious and he's hardworking, okay? This man is going to have to love children. He may already have his own children. He may have his own children, but the mothers won't let him be in their life because they're mad because he's moved on with his life and they don't want to be with them. If the mothers won't let him in their life or the mothers want him in their life, but he's not in their life, he's not the man that's going to be a good man for you. Okay, he's probably going to be of age, like 35 or older. He probably, he could be an exception. I would not trust a man under 35. Um, I don't see your age in here. I would not trust a man under 35 over five children. On the flip side of this, it's another thing y'all women do not believe and do not be wanting to hear and try to give me all this, you know, lip. Men, on average, are not good with children. There are some men, some men who are good with children. Typically, those men still act like a child. Typically, those men still are immature in their own ways, and, they, and that's why they're so good with children. Typically, the men don't want to be faithful to one woman. They aren't faithful to one woman. When you see a man who's really, really good with children, a lot of times he's a mess in a relationship. So a man is average at best, typically. A good man who's going to be faithful in a relationship and love you and treat you like a queen with children, he's going to be good. Average slash good. 
He's not going to be outstandingly amazing with five children from three different men because it's not because now he's loving the children of another man. So he does not look at them and see himself. So you have to understand that on this journey here that you're on and every single mother out there, your focus has to be your children first being everything and doing everything that they need not just all they wants not buying them all gucci and all the games and all of that trying to give them this life you never had it's not about material things it's about preparing them getting them good education good study habits good behavior good manners good morals good values getting making sure they have those things first the next thing is working on your purpose, your purpose, write your book, start your nonprofit organization, start your business, um, climb the ranks on your job and your career. If you're working in corporate America, whatever it may be. So your kids and then your, your money, your business, your career and yourself at the same time. Your body, how you eat, how you sleep, how you work out, what you're watching, what you're listening to. This has to be your focus. And guess what? You're going to look good, feel good, vibrate on a high frequency. Your energy is going to be good. So what's going to happen? You're going to attract better men. You're going to attract different types of men. They are going to look the opposite of the bad boys you've dealt with in the past. So you got to bring new energy. You got to be cool, calm and collected. You can't be starting fights for no reason. Can't be fussing, fighting and arguing for no reason. You have to truly be a new person. You may need two to four sessions of coaching. So think about doing coaching to get ideas on your business, your career, your brand your personal brand, how you represent yourself, what you show of yourself, what you give of yourself, how you're raising your children, all of those things, make sure you on the right page. And then with the man, this is what you have to understand. There may be one compromise. This is the only compromise that I say is okay to make. You know, you can do what you want to do. The only compromise is you may have to give him a child of his own from you. But you first need to see, you first need to be married. That's the first thing. Otherwise, you'll have six kids by four men. You first need to be married before giving him a child. You also need to make sure that he loves your children like he loves his own. Like you can't tell that they don't come from him. Me personally, I tell women, if you dating a man and you're going to leave him with your kids, you need to have nanny cams in your house. Have nanny cams in your house. Have them in the rooms. Have them in the living room. You need to have nanny cams in your house so you could watch that man. If you don't know that man, it's been less than a year, less than two years. Make sure he's not choking them, slapping them. You know, abusing them, beating on them, touching on them inappropriately. You you never know what you're bringing into your house. A man could show you one thing and be something totally different with your child. With your child, I see it every day. I deal with it every day. I'm coaching women who went through it with a stepdad. You know, I'm saying this all the time. So understand this. Don't just assume. A lot of times women say, oh, I know men that's better with children than uh, women. You may know a man that's better than a child with a woman. Congratulations. What you want a cookie? That's not average. And you also don't get to see that man with that child 24 seven. You see, he's great in front of you, but a man is not wired and built to have the patience and the energy for a child 24 seven men do some crazy things with kids. And cursing them out, slapping them upside the head, punching them, you know, especially if they can't speak for themselves. So you got to understand this. When you have children and you getting ready to date, be very, very careful. This man is closer to a beast than he is to a loving, caring stepfather. Understand what I'm telling you. 
Y'all women can argue with me if you want to. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You got to be extremely careful. I deal with this every day. And so after you have focused on your kids and you got a regimen and a routine and a schedule for them, and then you focus on yourself, your me time is on point, all of your grind, your purpose and all of that. You read books and all done seminar. Have you done coaching? You have not done coaching. You need a specific plan for you and your life. So I expect to see an email from you. And then you can open up to the dating field. And the five children, telling a man you got five kids is not the same as telling him you're not having sex until marriage. He needs to know up front in the first date that you got five kids. That's totally different than saying I'm not having sex with you. Because a man cares more about the sex thing than the kids. You telling him you're not having sex until marriage will make him run faster than you telling him you got 10 kids. Because at the end of the day, what a man is thinking about, he's not thinking about your kids. He thinking about what's between your legs. You can have many kids you wanna have. A man thinking about that one thing and that's that love making. And in the process, he gotta fall in love with you on the way while he thinking about love making. That's his energy and his fuel. And a lot of y'all don't want to hear that. It's too real for you because you think men deeper than that. You think it's bigger than that. No. The crux of a man's thoughts is sleeping with you. More than anything else, he thinking, if I got to fall in love, if I got to date her every day, if I got to talk to her every day, my main thing is when we going to be intimate. And whatever come with that, if that's love, if that's marriage, if that's stepkids, if that's my own kids, whatever come with it, I'm working toward this here intimacy. Why? Because he created and wired to reproduce. And it is it, not that much deeper than that. Yeah, you're going to have some men, oh, that's shallow and oh, that ain't all I think about and all. Yeah, it's good for the comments. I know the real. It's good for the comments. And later, y'all don't want to believe it, but it's coming out of man's mouth. So... He is not really, men really don't care about how many children you have, to be honest with you. If he's a good man, he doesn't care about that. He more so focus on you. If you got five children and you look like you done had five children and you don't look like you're doing anything about it, meaning you look disheveled, you know, you didn't let yourself go, you're not working out right, eating right, taking care of you, you ain't doing your hair, you ain't presenting yourself, that's more so what he cares about. But if you didn't have five kids, and like you say, you can't, people can't believe you didn't have five kids, then he's looking at your personality, your hustle, your grind, your ambition, your heart, and all of those things. So hey, I hope that helps you. Thank you so much for writing in. If you have a question, please be sure to send it in to inbox at tonygaskins.com, inbox at tonygaskins.com. Thank you so much, we'll talk soon.